So we got another good one here today, and I'm going to be going over if you can play online poker as a job and really the smartest way to get to 100K per year doing this. Now, I'm not going to say this is going to be attainable for a lot of people out there because I know a lot of you like to play the micro stakes, and you know those are anywhere from like $5 games up to maybe like $50. You know, the truth is, we all only have so much time in our weeks, and if you're playing too small of a limit, you're never really going to be able to make a substantial amount of money from online poker. But even if you move up in stakes, it's not guaranteed that you're going to beat the larger stake games. Now, me personally, you know, I stick to the $200 cash games and $500 cash games. It's kind of like my bread and butter. You know, I can dominate these games pretty easy. Once you get up to the $1,000 and $2,000 and above games, the players are really good, okay? And they are hard to beat. So you want to be playing people that you can get an edge on. And I do feel like the two and $500 games is where the money is at. But realistically, uh, to make 100K per year playing online poker, you would have to be playing the $500 games and you'd need to multi-table two tables at a time, probably put in about 40 hours a week. And you'd also need to be beating these games pretty frequent. Obviously, when you're playing online poker, there are gonna be those times and days when you lose, it's just part of the game. But overall, the whole point of playing is, you know, you wanna progress, you wanna get better. And even when you lose with the best hand, and, you know, the poker gods just screw you over, you know, at least you know the you made the best play, all right? So you just want to improve a little bit every time you play. And when you do lose, you know, just accept it's part of the game, move on, don't let it affect you emotionally, because that's how you, you know, throw your whole bankroll away. And that's, it's a killer to any progress that you're trying to make. Okay, of course, as I'm getting more into this topic, I'm going to be breaking on some hands here on ignition poker at 500 no limit and of course as you guys are watching this uh you know if you wanted to find some of the best poker sites or get in our uh poker newsletter we send out one email a week we'll have some links below in the description definitely check those out also feel free to comment but you know these are going from my own personal numbers i don't play full-time i'm a part-time player i just like to post uh you know my sessions and i'll tell you what uh the truth is you are going to have to just get to 500 no limit, play two tables at a time, you know, if you want to clear that 100K per year mark. But you also just need to be beating these games, right? So you got to make sure you're good enough to beat these games. And in order to beat the mid-state mid games, you know, you need to be very aggressive. You need to be three betting a lot of the time, um, especially with late position raisers, which is something I talk about a lot. You, you kind of saw me be pretty aggressive to start this session off, especially with that the first couple of hands. But, you know, it's just part of the game, um, you know, and you, you need to be doing these little things. You know, the more you play online poker and the more you try to learn and get better, you're just stacking these skills on top of each other. And eventually you have, you know, a stack of skills that you've, you know, uh, attained from really years of playing. Uh, you know, there's times when I'm in a, a poker session and, you know, I'll make a move on somebody just because I feel like they're bluffing just based on the fact that they hesitated just a little bit. It's like these little nu nuances when you're playing, you know, the more you play, the more you pick up on it and it's the little edges and it just, it just comes from playing all the time, but you need to really be analyzing what you're doing, how you're playing. And uh, even though I'm playing on anonymous tables, after I'm sitting at the table for like a half hour to 45 minutes, as long as there's new, no new players that have entered the game, I can still pick up on player tendencies and how people are playing. And it, it almost becomes obvious, you know? And uh, yeah. All right, so here we did an ace 10. Stick around to the end, guys, because um, there was an all in spot here we had with pocket aces that was very spicy. So you don't want to miss that. But also, if you need just any help in general, you know, I'm always here, I always respond to comments. But you know, also remember that this is supposed to be entertainment, you know, online poker, it's fun, we all want to win. And, you know, some of us can, you know, make a living doing this almost, or just make a good side income. But, you know, the truth is, uh, we all just love to play, right? Um, but you can't be a winner every single day, there's just going to be days when you lose, it's just, it's inevitable, okay, it's going to happen, just, just let it be known. And don't be so hard on yourself, especially like, 
you know, if you've made some uh, mistakes, like you've thrown your whole bankroll away, maybe playing some slots or something when you're supposed to just be playing poker, maybe you did like a big sport bet and lost your poker bankroll, you know what happens. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just realize that poker is going to be here, you know, tomorrow and the day after that. It's like a long-term endeavor. So, you know, you can always try again if you're just struggling to, you know, win consistently. That's all I'm saying, guys. That's all I'm saying. Okay, here's another hand. I think we hit top pair. All right, so there was a three bet on this one. I just made the call because we were suited, so kind of had to do it. And honestly, I don't think there there was no spot here where I was folding. I was definitely going to make a call. Okay, so we had top pair. Unfortunately, we don't have any runner runner flushes to go with our hand, but we do have top pair. So uh, because this guy three bet, you know, just going to check it over, see what he does. All right, pretty small continuation bet. Turn card was a three, didn't really change anything. Now the pot here got up to 150, and if he was going to put in a big bet here, I had to make a decision. I decided to fold it. Um, River card wouldn't have made a difference, but to be honest with you guys, the three bet, it was close. Uh, You know, Ace King's beating us there. King Queen, which I didn't really think he had. I thought maybe like more like Ace King. Um, he could also had pocket queens on that hand. I could see that that aggression uh, possibly, but it was close. Uh, I don't know if I made the right play, but I decided to fold it. And you know, if it's if you're not sure, sometimes it is okay to fold. So that's what I did right there. And like I said, it is what it is. On to the next one. All right, here we. We're pretty aggressive with pocket nines. Not a great flop. But I continued anyways. And we got him to fold just based on the aggression. Turn card would have made a difference there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, So for the most part in this session, I was just kind of like, you know, up and down a little bit, nothing crazy. And then... We get in a situation which is kind of like a dream situation because it's going to be a pocket pair versus pocket pair all in. And yes, you guessed it. This is going to be a pocket aces versus pocket king spot that's like, it's impossible. Even if it was me on the other end of this hand and I had the pocket kings, I'm not folding. I'm, I'm going all in here. Like there's there's no way. So, you know, we just got fortunate in this spot and it happens. But really... To recap everything that I, you know, talked about here, you know, playing online poker is a job. Um, and really the the smartest way to go about it, I guess like a side uh, hustle income kind of thing to getting to 100K per year, you really need to be at the 500 no limit game and you need to be doing two tables at a time, uh, which is the sweet spot because you can really focus on those games and you're going to be playing like 40 hours a week. So... Yeah, I mean, it's something that you're going to have to work for. It's not just going to come to you, honestly. But even if you're not trying to make that much, uh, like you could still move down a level, 200 no limit, uh, still very beatable those games. You could make some decent money, uh, you know, like I said, because I think I've posted enough videos here where you guys can see that, you know, I've posted losing sessions, winning sessions, but I am a winning player and I do well. All right, here we go the dream spot. Now I slowed this hand down a little bit because, you know, just wanted to do a slow motion of the dream scenario. Uh, Ace King in this spot, if you had Ace King too, like it's tough. Uh, When you're a little bit deeper in these games, you know, with more money, sometimes you can get away from Ace King here. Not all the time, but sometimes. Because sometimes, you know, someone's going to go all in with pocket uh, queens or jacks. It does happen. You know, it just depends on how the player's feeling. And if he's playing a little bit looser, just too aggressive, or just having a bad day, you might see uh, somebody shove all in with, like, tens or jacks. It does happen. 
All right, anyways, uh, get ready for it. And here we go. Let's run it. Okay, so just dodging that king. Nothing there, looking real nice. Okay, that about did it, guys. He was uh, drawing dead on the turn. Okay, anyways, I hope you enjoyed another quick one here. As always, as always, thanks for watching this, and we'll see you all in the next poker video.